guys, so in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to trim your drone in. And basically what that means is you've got it out of the box, you've got the battery and everything connected, you've got it into a state of flying and you want to, maybe it's going off in different directions and you want to tune it in so you can fly it properly. Uh, this will cover the 1.0 drone all the way through to the 3.0 that's coming out 1st of May on Indiegogo from extremeflyers.co.uk. So, again, throttle in the down position. Um, for this, I'm going to use mode 2 because that's how I roll. So we'll switch the controller on. Hopefully the batteries will not crap out on us. And plug this in again flashing rapidly until you put it on a flat surface detects that it's steady up to the top back down and that's bound so we're now ready to fly and this is where the <laughs> stuff is gonna fly everywhere so you put the throttle up a bit and as you can see that came forwards towards me so what we're gonna do with that or should I say backwards towards me. So what we need to do for that is obviously that's forwards. Now you can either compensate for this with a stick or we can tell it that we want it to go more forwards. So let's push, push on the forwards thing. Because in the manual it does tell you at the moment that you need to um, push it in the direction that it's going, meaning that if it's going backwards, you need to trim it backwards, but that's not correct. You need to trim it forwards in the opposite direction of where it's going. So let's try that. Well, that's, that's going backwards a lot slower now, so let's add another couple onto that, and you can see it's gone. That's going even slower. So we know we're onto, onto something here. Let's go up one. Ah, there we go. So now it's kind of creeping sideways. So if we go up. What I did there was press sideways on this to show you the rotation. So this this stick here does left and right. Yep. So what we need to do is because it's going that way, we need to push to the left on this and we'll just do a couple of uh, couple of pushes on that one. Oh, that's looking a lot more stable now. And as you adjust these things, it may start shifting around how it handles, you know, so it may start going backwards again, but this is all to do with the tuning process. We're going to keep keep on with this. Ah, oh, look at that. It's a lot better. So it's coming back slightly, so we'll put another one on there. Ooh, we've almost got that hovering. So we'll put another one here and another one forwards. Oh, look at that. And I think the only disruption that we've got now is because um, the drone is blowing a lot of air onto the, uh, onto the top here. So as that comes back up, it's creating turbulence and the microprocessor in there is trying to calibrate for it. So I think that's pretty much tuned in, ready to rock. As you can see, it's incredibly stable now, so. Yep, that's, that's looking spot on to me. So it really is as simple as that. And like I was saying in other videos, you could throw this up in the air upside down and then uh, put, put the throttle on and it really genuinely will just flip back round and self right itself. And that's nothing to do with the controller. That's the microprocessing unit in here knows which way up it needs to be and it'll stabilize itself. So I hope that's helped you guys out and basically check out my other videos and subscribe.